It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Green Bay Packers. And it's coming right up on EA Sports. This is such a special place. You drive through the streets of Green Bay, no tall buildings, quaint houses, and then boom, right there in the middle of the neighborhood is iconic Lambeau Field. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Green Bay Packers. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. Fields this way up at the 17. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. It hasn't taken Herbert long to earn this status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. He's locked and loaded on every snap. In the second he sees an opening, the ball's soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Oh, good move. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Once more, here's Eckler. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. 
Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now it's Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second and seven, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he fires one that's intercepted. Rasua Douglas picks it. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders in the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They'll break the huddle, send three receivers left, one to the right on second and five. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And able to find Alan Lazard. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. 
Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Rodgers again now. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tanyan. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Six yards left on second down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Six. Now Jones. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Dillon is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This Charger defense continuing to hold the line. Now it's a third and goal situation. Dillon again, but he will lose yardage here. Back to the four-yard line. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Crosby is good, and the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So the long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Fields this way up at the 17. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Their second drive here, the ballgame, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but, boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now. Back out on the field 
put together a good drive and gets a point of their own. So first and 10 now from the 30. They started on the ground with Eckler, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that and he is going to have the chargers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two well they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football and i believe that they've done that here in the first quarter First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six. Herbert finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. A give, Eckler running to the right. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, here in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Draw play. It's Eckler. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 40-yard line. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Running on first down, Eckler. 
And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll try the air now with Herbert. That's caught right side by Palmer. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Beckler, they run left side. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Throwing on second and eight, Herbert. Herbert has it knocked free, and the Packers pick it up. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 40, 20, and he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. that for a momentum swing. You had a goal to go. Not only do you cough it up, but they pick it up and return it all the way for a touchdown. And now you have to give oxygen to the entire team because what a letdown that was. Terrific drive. Looked like you're going to get points. Instead, the other team registers them on the scoreboard. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. The scoop and score are always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. He's doing his thing. He's got some good yardage, but his team right now in the second quarter, zero points. Just not a complete formula. Half of it's there, being able to run the ball and set the tone. What if they may have to go to some play action, throw off the run game, and try and get the ball in the end zone? I was just going to ask you that same thing. Maybe you use that run now to set up the pass, right? I would think so because the run has been very effective for them. On first down, Justin Herbert looking deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. 
Pretty good little two-point sequence there. You foresee incompletion and a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Here's Herbert. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll give him four yards there. And it'll be fourth down. down J.K. Scott ready to punt it away and now a high kick trying to pin him back and not his best effort there as this one's going to be spotted down just outside of the 40 yard line the Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive and last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Finds the zone quickly on the slant. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. down Rodgers he finds Randall Cobb with a completion and they're going to get this down to about the 17 yard line here here's second and a yard to throw it's Rodgers Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. To the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Now it's Rodgers. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively, how do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do, because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do, because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation.
They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. Second and goal from the one. Running the toss here to Dillon. And he'll take this one in for a backer touchdown. A.J. Dillon punching it in from a yard away. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop it. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Now Crosby for the point after. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off of a touchdown run. desperation time especially in the second quarter but you're you don't down want to but no but oh let me finish okay my bad. you're down three scores already you've done nothing offensively nothing on the scoreboard that's that's not a good combination i think you now just you called it i think you just called a desperation time i, I think did. you did but yeah. let's face it you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game the energy level hasn't been there right from the start we've noticed that they've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Up the middle with Eckler. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. That is caught. It's Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Herbert setting up to throw on first down to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. 
And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A good pickup there, 26 yards. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. Looking Austin Eckler's way again. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Herbert back to the air. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown, Chargers! Josh Palmer from six yards away. And the Chargers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, a full half to be played. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. Just inside of a minute left, Charles. They got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to deal with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. Play of the drive there is incomplete. Christian Watson, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Flush. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. And on that one, the protection just broke down. 
you've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 44-yard line. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Chargers in that first half. And they did have some success running the football in those first two quarters. And that might be something they continue to work on as they try to get back in this game. Meanwhile, for the Packers, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two quarters of play. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work, as always, as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. Fields this way up at the 17 and up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. And this offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try to win this ball game. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Uh, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead is knocked harmlessly to the turf. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that is incomplete. So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach him up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over back to their offense, and trying to get back into this game. Yeah, a couple scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And now a high kick here as they'll try to cover this one. On the return, Carter. 
It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. On first and 10, Herbert. His throw complete right side to the tight end, Parham. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll share the defense. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so he'll be third and about the length of the football. Offense present offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert rolling to his left. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Herbert now. It's Williams on the catch. They find some open field here. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Once more, here's Eckler. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Herbert. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. 
Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And despite the fancy footwork, we saw that get to him just inside the 15. Jair Alexander up to make the tackle. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Eckler now between the tackles. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 88 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Xander Horvath taking it in from four yards out. And the Chargers are back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and get some right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Extra point attempt here still to come. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw here is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. That's complete to Dobbs. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. Completes it again to Dobbs. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. 
This is Lazard with a catch out left. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. Oh, they'll try the jet sweep here with Lazard. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. And inside give to Jones. And he'll take this one down to the 36. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Now they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Open man, here's Kyle. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Whenever we're talking about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team, and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Now Jones, and he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him, though he's a big part of their offense. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Rogers going to give this one to Dillon. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you're, <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Throwing is Rodgers. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Packers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. He talked about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab jab and finally the haymaker to put that drive away extra point up and good by Crosby and his guys will take a 10 point lead to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. 
Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Back now at Lambeau. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On third down, here's Eckler. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. J.K. Scott now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. In his own end zone, it's Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll try and hurry the kick, gets it away, but it's not looking that great. Here comes Carter. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. Touchdown! Gerald Everett, 32 yards. And the Chargers 
have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. A try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. So that'll bring up second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. On second and seven, Rodgers. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Rodgers able to find Lazard. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way worked out. It doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Rodgers going to throw to the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. If you're running out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Second down at six now from the 42. Up the middle, Jones. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Let's go, man. It's showtime, baby. And this offense on third down today, they've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This time it's third and three. Now Rodgers. He finds Watson complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 38-yard line. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has 
the first as well. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Rodgers now to throw. A complete once again to Watson. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Rodgers now on first down. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Rodgers to throw once more. He'll find Jones again, complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by Crosby is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. To the main field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Austin Eckler in the Charger offense reclaims center stage. Responsible for well over 100 yards of total offense, but still hasn't found the end zone. You think that's in the back of his mind going into this drive? It's always in the back of the mind of a player who's having that type of a day because you want that gratification for your work, right? You want that stamp on top of everything. But bottom line for him, he's doing great work. Sometimes it just opens it up for other people to actually get into the end zone for him. The runners you know, would they rather have 60 yards, three touchdowns, or 150 no touchdowns? I think more than likely 150 and no touchdowns, but all the runners that I know would say, I'll take 150 and three touchdowns. They're greedy that way. They should have gotten more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines. But incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he let him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. 
Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. It'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 18. A punt of 46, a return of five. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs and the goal. Jones hit in the ball's end. And this is recovered by the Chargers. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution and absolute belief because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go ah this thing's pretty well done but they still thought to themselves if we could make a play we give our team we give our teammates a chance to win it and that's exactly what they did following the turnover. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag oh, comes perfect. out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Eckler trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Eckler again. And good work there defensively. He's able to keep him out of the end zone. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They face a critical third and goal now in a one-score game. Touchdown, Chargers! Austin Eckler from four yards out. And the Chargers take the force fumble and convert it into six points. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And it is good. So they take the lead, and now the pressure falls on their defense to try and hold on.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So now Rodgers in the pack, down 28-27, just under two minutes to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Rodgers to throw. Watson making the catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. To throw is Rodgers. And his pass incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. And it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. Rodgers. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cobb. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Rodgers. Pass to Lazard, bringing it in on the crossing route. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Would be a long field goal try from here as they try to hustle to the line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. He'll look to throw. He finds his receiver, Watson. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. I'm starting to wonder here, are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back and they're picking them apart, moving the ball downfield. I think they got to start bringing a little pressure towards the quarterback. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick in the game forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And this kick is not going to get there. It's short and no good. And that'll keep this a one-point game. And this stadium just fell silent in a hurry. Crowd was ready to erupt, weren't they? But guess what? That chance to win one here, to steal one in the final seconds, goes awry.
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while.